All right, so I'm here at the Western Graphite Mine today. You can see some of the workings at the top of the hill where that gray dirt is. But right over here is the remains of an ore bin. Um, let me get a better view of it. You can see the door for the chute right here. That's where the ore would come out. Yeah, it's pretty cool that there's actually some equipment left at the site. So uh, there should be some adits at this mine that hopefully we'll be able to go and explore. Okay, so we've arrived at the first adit at the Western Graphite Mine. Let's go have a look inside. All right, so I just slid my way into the portal of this mine. Let's go see what's down here. I have to say, this is a very spacious tunnel. It's very wide, almost five feet wide, I'd say. And there's a branch going off this way, but let's go straight ahead first. Well, I can see the end already, but it looks like it must have intersected a vein of graphite. You can see that dark colored rock. That's probably the ore. And it really doesn't go too much further beyond that. Looks like there's a little mouse, mouse's nest in that drill hole. And that's a shot looking back out the mine. So let's go down that other branch. All right, let's see where this goes. This one doesn't seem to go very far as well. But again, you can see that dark colored rock that I'm guessing was the graphite deposit they were digging at. All right, so on to the next attic. All right, so I'm exploring some of the surface workings of this mine. You can see they had a big open cut here, looking for bodies of ore. And down this trail here, I think there might be some adits. And all the way down there is that ore bin that I pointed out earlier. We were looking up at this when I was down there. Okay, so right over here is another adit at this mine. I shined my light in there and I saw it just went in about five feet so there's no need for me to go into there but what I really wanted to show you is this right here which might be a, a vein of graphite. I picked some rocks out of it and it has like a, like a glossy finish to it almost. It's kind of weird but I believe this might be graphite ore. Okay, right here's another tunnel at the Western Graphite Mine. This one's right off the trail. And this one, you don't have to slide in, so that's nice. That's a nice wide portal. Let's go have a look inside. It's either a uh, mouse nest or pack rat's nest. This one doesn't look like it goes in very far. You can see there's some more nests on the ground right there. Um, it seems like it just dead ends pretty much right here. You can actually see there's sort of a cave in right here. All of this material fell onto the floor. But um, I spotted at least two more adits at this mine, so we still got a bit to check out. All right, so that's the adit that I just finished exploring. And looking across the canyon, you can see that metal pipe. And I believe that that pipe is actually an ore chute for an adit that is right up there. And we can also see that the trail runs over there. And sometimes they'll have metal chutes for water to help prevent erosion on the trail, of course. 
Um, but I don't think that that's what that is. I believe that that's actually an ore chute. And as we get closer to it, we'll be able to tell for sure. And that probably ran all the way down to the bottom of the canyon so they could bring it to that metal ore bin that I showed you at the beginning of the video. I also believe that there was a mill site down there, but I haven't seen any other sign of it, so I'm not exactly sure. The deposit of graphite that this company was following pretty much runs all the way through this mountain. You can see it starts way over there. That was where uh, the first at it was. And you can see on each little ridge, um, there's an outcropping of that dark rock that I believe should be the graphite ore. It runs all the way up there and much further past of this mine. There's going to be another mine that we're going to, to today. It's actually dug along the same ore vein. Alright, so I'm at the top of this pipe right now, and you can see that the top segment is actually riveted. So that's an indication that this pipe is pretty old. There's a mine near here called the California Graphite Mine that I've been to, and it has a pipe similar to this. And they use that as an ore chute, so that's why I'm thinking that this is an ore chute. And looking over there is the uh, workings that we just explored. And well, right at the top of this pipe is another adit. And you can see that this adit was dug straight into this large mass of dark rock. And it looks like graphite ore to me. Uh, most of this graphite though, mined here, was flake graphite which means it wasn't very uh, pure, so it could only really be used in paints or lubricants. It isn't the uh, quality that you could use to make pencils out of. Let's go have a look inside this adit. I think this one might be pretty interesting. All right, so I just slid into this adit, and you can see that the vein of graphite runs all the way over here. It's really wide in this spot, and it runs all the way back here into a uh, massive collapse, unfortunately. Again, you can see the vein right there. Um, this is pretty close to the top of the ridge, so it's possible that this actually poked out to the surface. Um, I'm gonna hike over there and see if I can find any sign of another opening. But uh, yeah, that's pretty impassable right there. And yeah, it's still kind of a cool adit because you can see the vein really well. And there's just pieces of ore on the ground. Okay, so I was just about to make my way outside of this mine. And I just noticed that right over here, there's a nail hammered into the rib of the mine. Uh, the rib is basically a term for the the walls of the tunnel and they're probably hanging something on there I don't know what but thought I'd show you thought it was kind of cool okay so I found another adit at the western graphite mine this one's a bit more hidden than the others but I don't know what's inside this one so let's go check it out okay so I'm just inside the portal right now and you'll see that this one isn't very exciting just dead ends right here pretty much. See the vein and over here there's a nest of some sort. But it looks like it's unoccupied right now. So I think this is about it for the western graphite mine. Um, there might still be some uh, metal debris I want to check out but that's about it. All right, so right up there is that metal pipe or chute. And right here, there's some metal debris. I don't know exactly what it was for. You can see like this right here with some sort of trough. And this with some kind of a pipe. Um, there was a mill site here, I believe. So maybe this is part of the mill site. I'm not too sure though. I'll look around to see if I find any other pieces of it. Alright, so we're heading up to the Black Diamond Mine right now. 
And in order to get to the mine, we have to bypass this, I'd say, 15-foot waterfall. Um, I'm sort of just hiking along the side of the canyon. And the mine should just be right up here. We're almost there. Okay, so I had to scramble up a few dry waterfalls. Uh, some of them were pretty tricky to get up, but I made it to the mine. Uh, there's a short prospect at it right here with a bunch of poison oak growing in front of it. It only goes in about four feet, but across the canyon is where the main at it is, right on that open cut below that uh, vein of dark rock. Okay, so I was just filming from over there a moment ago, and right behind me is a uh, nice open adit to the Black Diamond Mine. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if this is the main adit or not. The main adit supposedly goes in about 125 to 150 feet. I have explored a few canyons near this one, and I found caved in adits, so I'm not sure if those were the main adits or not, but let's have a look inside this one. So I've just made my way into the Black Diamond Mine, and right behind me, you'll see that it branches into two directions, although they uh, don't really go too far. Um, over to the left, it looks like there's just a big pack rat's nest over there, and I saw a, uh, oh yeah, a black widow spider right here. I almost walked into his web. He's right there, I don't know if you can see him. But yeah, the passage to the right doesn't go very far either. Um, it doesn't seem to be much of interest in here. You can see like a faint vein of graphite, but looks like it just pinched out. So uh, I'm gonna make my way out of this mine and possibly go look for some other adits though. I don't really expect to find any. All right, so I made it up to the mine. Uh, it was pretty tricky getting up here. I had to scramble along that ledge where those yuccas are. And getting up to that ledge was even trickier, but this is the portal right here. It's very wide and spacious inside, so let's go have a look. You can see there's some trash in here. All right, got a uh, milk jug and looks like a, a stash of food. But yeah, as you can see, the mine doesn't really go back too far. I don't know what kind of mine this was. If it was gold or graphite. Is there's a few graphite mines in this canyon. Haven't been able, haven't been able to find a name of the mine either. But yeah, there's like a food stash in here with water. I don't know the point of this. It's not like it's easy to get to, so I don't know, maybe if there's an apocalypse or something they're planning on coming up here. Yeah, it's looking out. It was worth checking out. Alright, so I'm back outside the mine. I didn't really pay much attention to this before, but this almost looks like it was stacked up on purpose. There's like a, a wall of rock. I don't know, so maybe my theory about that stash being for the apocalypse was uh, correct. They're trying to build a little shelter. I don't know, it could have just uh, fallen from up there in just a perfect line, but I don't know, it kind of looks like it was stacked to me. Who knows? It's looking down the canyon, you can see the moon. It's a nice day.